Hello, just wanted to share some more uh, work we're doing with mobile and ArcGIS Online. Just about to load an application here on an Android device. The work we're doing here is uh, related to disaster management. So we were approached by a county in the US um, with regards to improving the processes around disaster management. So currently, when there is a disaster in the state, and these disasters are tornadoes and flooding primarily, they're the main two disasters. When there is that type of a disaster, very quickly the GIS staff in the county and Red Cross go out to the affected areas and record levels of damage. So they'll actually bring out a map and pens and paper and they'll mark on that map. Usually it's got parcel information on it or lots. The, the level of damage of individual homes. So once they've collected all that information, they then uh, gather that together and generate a spreadsheet um, which uh, they then pass on to uh, state officials who then can fund the repair efforts. So it's a reasonably laborious process, something that is time consuming and uh, in terms of the data collection it's time consuming and in terms of visualising the data difficult, hard to look at a spreadsheet for these officials. So. What we were approached to, to look into was to, to use a technology that we, we work with to actually automate this process or to make it a, a, a make, make mobile use um, to, to improve the processes. <clears throat> so what you're looking at here is actually a web map. So this is an ArcGIS Online web map. We've actually published a number of layers here. The, the, um, the key layer that you're looking at here is a parcel layer. So that's parcel data. We've actually colour coded the parcel information as well, so we've already done some initial uh, testing on the data. The colour coding is yellow is, is a, a damage level of zero, which is some damage. Orange is level of one, which is medium level of damage, and then red is destroyed. So that's how we're colour coding things. So we can actually look at the attributes of the parcels here. So not many attributes in this particular case. We've got the address as well included there. So users in the field can actually go ahead and, and enter this information that, with regards to the parcel um, and that is actually stored in ArcGIS Online so let's go ahead and actually update that particular parcel we just tapped on so we're just clicking the edit tool in this application we'll tap on the particular parcel and what we'll do is we will enter a damage level of 2 so damage level is 2 is destroyed and we'll OK that and you'll see instantaneously the uh, the parcel itself is actually then coloured the correct um, the correct colour. So not only does this serve as a as a tool in the field to collect data between the teams, you can actually see which parcels have now been collected. It also serves obviously as a as a very quick and easy way for the state officials to look at this data and then make decisions based off of it. The uh, additional piece to this, and actually let me just tap another parcel, I'll show you that as well, is that we can actually attach multimedia elements to it. And actually let me go into, um, help if I hit the right layer. So we've actually got the ability to attach imagery to this particular parcel. So we can actually open the camera, I won't do that in this demo, but you can actually open the camera, take a picture and attach that uh, image to that particular parcel. That is also stored in ArcGIS Online with the attributes, so it's a combination of, of recording text information, damage, comments, etc. and multimedia information as well. So it's a pretty uh, it's a pretty neat application. The one other thing that's worth mentioning, there's actually point data here. In this particular town there are uh, mobile homes and mobile homes tend to sit on a single parcel and they have an individual address but they're part of one single parcel so the issue here was how do you record information about individual mobile homes that have been damaged and the decision was made to actually add points to a particular parcel so you can actually uh, in the application create new points and color code those points based on damage levels as well so so multiple things are going on here, but um, this is this is proven to be a very uh, a very nice application to do this kind of uh, data collection and visualization. Um, the one addition that I won't show you in this demo is that this can actually this actually works offline as well. So if the damage levels are so high that the Wi-Fi 
Wi-Fi has been knocked out, the application still works. So data is stored on the device itself and when those field workers go back to areas that have Wi-Fi connectivity, ArcGIS Align is then updated from there. So that's the application. Thanks for watching.